Some amazing facts about the red panda. 1. According to the San Diego Zoo, a French zoologist named Frederick Cuvier first described the red panda in 1825, about 48 years before the giant panda was catalogued. He called it the most beautiful animal he had ever seen, and named it Aurelius Vungens, meaning fire-coloured or shining cat. The common name panda may be derived from the Nepalese name for these animals, Ninjala Punja, which may have meant bamboo footed. The giant panda was given its name later because of similarities to the red panda. The other names for the red panda include lesser panda, cat bear, bear cat, Himalayan raccoon, fox bear or firefox, according to the San Diego Zoo. The mascot of the firefox web browser is a red panda, according to Mozilla. Fact 2. Red pandas were first classified as relatives of the raccoon family because of the physical similarities such as the head, teeth and ring tail, according to the Smithsonian National Zoo. Later, because of some DNA similarities, they were classified as bears. Recent genetic research now places them in their own family. They have no living relatives and the nearest fossil ancestor lived 3 to 4 million years ago. Fact 3. Female red pandas give birth during the spring and summer after a gestation period of around 114 to 145 days, but that can be decreased as short as 90 days or as long as 158 days. Females build birthing dens in stumps, hollowed out trees or rock crevices. Dens are lined with grass, leaves, twigs, moss and small branches. Females can have one to four young, although they usually have twins. Fact 4. The baby red pandas are called cubs. The cubs' eyes and ears are sealed until they're about two or three weeks of age. They nurse until they're 13 to 22 weeks old and they stay with the mothers in their birthing dens for about 90 days. They reach maturity at 18 to 20 months. The typical lifespan of a red panda is 8 to 10 years in the wild and 15 years in captivity in zoos. Fact 5. The red pandas are classed as vegetarian carnivores. That's because the word carnivore doesn't necessarily imply a meat eater, but can refer to the biological order. As they're descended from carnivorous ancestors, but they rarely eat anything more than bamboo, a few insects, on fruit, so they're classed as vegetarian carnivores. Fact 6. The red pandas have pseudo thumbs. Like the giant panda bears, the red pandas have pseudo thumbs, which basically is an extended wrist bone that can function as a thumb but isn't a true appendage. The thumbs help red pandas grip and grasp objects like bamboo tree branches to feed and move about. According to a 2015 study, the false thumbs were inherited from a primitive member of the red panda family that also lived in trees or had more of a carnivorous eating habits. Fact 7. While the red panda was originally thought to be one species made up of two subspecies, the new genetic studies have found that there is actually two distinct species of the red panda, the Himalayan red panda and the Chinese red panda. Research in China has found that two separate species have formed in around 250,000 years ago when the populations were divided by the Yalu Dangbu River. The Himalayan red panda tend to have more white on its face, whereby the Chinese pandas would be larger with darker fur. Fact 8. Unfortunately, there is only an estimated 10,000 of these beautiful animals left in the wild. Fact 9. There is now a worldwide effort to protect the red panda and according to San Diego Zoo in China, there are 35 protected areas in India, there are 20 and 8 in Nepal and 5 in Bhutan. Fact 10. Red pandas are born full of four. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around. Um, just to let you know next week I'll be uploading a video on uh, the red tooth lima. 
uh, we'll be back up in Dublin Zoo again to have a look at it so thanks very much for sticking around um, if you want any more footage from Dublin Zoo just click somewhere up around here it's the, the playlist for Dublin Zoo I hope you enjoy it there and um, took me a while to make it so if you just haven't already hit the subscribe button click the link or sorry click the, the bell icon and leave a comment down below and thanks very much for taking the time to watch the video and i hope you enjoy the rest of the videos from dublin zoo as i said next week will be the red tuft lima so that's going to be an interesting one so enjoy and i'll also be doing some comments on it as well thanks very much and see you next week guys